Proverbs 19 and 23. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, tends to life. And he that have it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. Start this lesson by saying, Call the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the left out here preaching this word in truth and sincerity. King Jesse back with another Bible lesson. We're going to go into the fear of the Lord, part two. And uh, just going to go ahead and uh, read up some Bible precepts before we get into this lesson. Yahweh is who you ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shah is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. The Rakatadash is the Holy Spirit. And Bahashem means in the name. So when you call on your power, you call on the name of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Bahashem Rakatadash. You no longer call on that fake ass name of Jesus Christ. That shit going to get you killed. Because the letter J was invented in 1524. So there's no way our Lord's uh, name could have been Jesus. It's Yahweh Shai in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. And our Lord and Savior is the so called black man, not white man, from the tribe of Judah. <clears throat> you so called black Hispanic, Native American Indians. <clears throat> you are the Israelites. And you so called white people, you're the devil that the Bible speaks of, the biblical Edomites. Pursuant to Job 9 and 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Now let's read off these five precepts. Precepts about how in these times to come, the fear of the Lord is only the only thing that's going to get us through. And for you so-called Black Hispanics and Native American Indians, starting with the elect, this lesson is only for you. The fear of the Lord uh, is very important. We're just going we're going to just go and read the precepts, and the Lord will do the talking. Proverbs 22 and 4: By humility and the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, riches and honor and life. Proverbs 23 and 17. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all thy day long. And the only thing you got to do is just get the Bible app, type in the fear of the Lord, and all these precepts will pop up and go to show you how important that is. Proverbs 24 and 21. My son, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and the kings, and, and the king. And meddle not with them, but they are given to change. Proverbs 29 and 25. The fear of man brings a snare, but whoso put his trust in the Lord shall be saved. We don't fear man. We put our fear in the Lord, in our trust in the Lord. Because the Lord is the one that controls the evil and the good, right? Uh, I create evil. I create, um, I, I create good. I create evil. There was none that can deliver out my hands. Uh, Proverbs 31 and 30. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shah, shall be praised. For you women too. Isaiah 2 and 10. Enter into the rock and hide thy in, in the dust. For the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, and for the glory of his majesty. Isaiah 11 and 2. And the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, and the spirit and knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And that fell on who? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shahu, Yah, he's ignorantly called Jesus Christ, right? Isaiah 11 and 3. And he shall make a quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after hearing of his ears. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom, knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is his treasure. So the wisdom and knowledge of this Bible, that you are the, Israel, you are the Hebrew Israelites, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. And it's time to repent and come to your power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. And to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, meaning trying to keep his commandments to the best of our abilities. And uh, when we fail... A just man gets up seven times again. But 
the crooked uh, shall fall, right? So uh, whenever you sin, you call on the name of Yahweh, by some Yahweh shine, ask for forgiveness of sin, and you try hard and you do best and do your battle, right? And if uh, you're able bodied male, just like uh, the Lord Yahweh, by some Yahweh shop, you love me, feed my sheep. So you're about, supposed to be out here feeding the sheep and wisdom and knowledge and understanding. So I'm going to read off a few more about the fear of the Lord. Jonah 1 and 9, and he said unto them, I am a Hebrew, and I fear the Lord, Yahweh, the God of heaven, which hath made the sea and thy dry land. Alright? That's what we all should be saying, because we are Hebrew as whites. You so called black Hispanics and Native American Indians. These last few ones, so we can end the lesson. Let's see. All right, we're gonna end with our song 11 and 10. All right, we're gonna start with that one Psalm 111 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endure forever. And that was just what I was saying. You so-called black, Spanish, Native American Indians. You got to rehearse the rights that the Lord keep his commandments. That was perfect. We can end the lesson with that one. Psalms 111 and 10. Perfect. And I just picked that one randomly. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding. Have all they that do his commandments, his praise endure Endure forever. Call Allah Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the left out here preaching his word in truth and sincerity. King Jesse, I would another Bible lesson. Fear the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah.